Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a quick review and demo of the IT Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Six Pan Bronzer Highlight and Contour Palette. This retails for $38 from Ulta, and with six pans inside, that means each of them goes for about $6.33 a piece, an absolute bargain for pretty much any IT Cosmetics product. So I wanted to pick it up, give it a go, let you guys know my thoughts. As you can see, the booklet is here. You open it up, and on one side you have two mirrors. One is a normal mirror, and one actually is a magnifying mirror, which is kind of nice when you're doing precision contour work down the nose as a contour diagram here, kind of details what you can do with all these powders. The one thing that uh, it doesn't come with, with at least the final packaging, once you chuck the outside packaging, is something that tells you exactly which powder to use where. And I know that a lot of people, when they get something that as you, whoop, as as you can see contains six pans like this a lot of people are going to be overwhelmed so I do wish that they had kind of given a paint by number sort of scheme here but they didn't so that's why I wanted to show you a little bit like my daily contour or highlight routine something I would do on a daily basis with this palette so inside here you see you get six shades two up here look like highlight shades I would say that this white one here is more like a pressed makeup forever HD powder where it's great for setting it doesn't leave a white cast despite looking that way in the pan it really is just a nice setting powder I'm actually wearing it in my under eye area right now and it's the first step of my whole routine with this palette then let's go down the line here since that's kind of the order I use them in you come to the second row which has two very similar looking I'd say light matte bronzers all of the bronzers in here are matte by the way which is fantastic because they're great at creating a natural looking contour so you have two kind of light to mid-tone bronzers I use the deeper one over here to give my face an overall bronzed look I will use it with sort of a larger fluffy brush this one is from M cosmetics it's the all over face brush I will use that in my cheeks as you can see in the video I'm surely playing now in the hollows of my cheeks my temples down my jawline and then sometimes I'll even go into the center of my face where my nose will get sort of naturally more sun when I am out in the sun. The nice thing about having this lighter option over here is that it's there for when if and when you get lighter in the winter months. Then I take my routine a step further and I move down to the next deepest shade right beneath the one I just used and I will take that on more of a precise brush. I use the Makeup Geek angled blush brush and I will go into the perimeter of my face really focusing on the hairline of my forehead and really deep and farther back in my cheekbones and what I find that does and what I really like that it's all in this one palette is that it creates this really nice natural gradient bronze it's not just two shades highlight contour done you really have enough shades in here to play with them and build them up so they look ultra natural and the last bronzing powder here is this deepest right here in the corner and I was so happy to see this because it means that it's going to be a practical palette for a wide variety of skin tones which is awesome if like me you find that you will never bronze enough to really justify using this in your daily routine I find it's awesome as a crease shade or a dramatic outer corner shade on your eye it's still very useful and all of these shades not to cut to the chase too soon but all the shades are light and smooth and buttery blend easily last all day sorry to give it all away because I'm about to have to swing back up to this highlight shade because that is the last step in my entire face routine and this highlight might be one of the most gorgeous I've ever seen it is ultra pearlescent highlight that when you apply it just looks so unbelievably dewy and natural like that lit from within glow that everyone is after. Now that I talked about the quality, how I use all of these products, who I think they would suit, the one downside that I have for this palette is the fact that all of these run relatively cool. I would say this is an overwhelmingly cool palette given how warm some people can get and so that's certainly a downside here while it does suit a wide range of complexions with only six pans here you are going to be a little bit restrained as to who all this is going to flatter. Something that I want to touch on when talking about this palette because it seemed like such a natural comparison in my mind when I first saw this it, but I can't talk too much about it because I don't actually own it is the Anastasia bronzing palette and up until recently they had something similar to this where it was a pre-selected six pan bronzer and highlight shade palette but re now you can actually create your own fill in your own pots to create your perfect bronzer highlight kit. 
And so with that being said, although I haven't tried the bronzers, I don't know how they perform, how they last, any of that. If you are looking for that kind of versatility with more warmer, bronzy, and highlight shades, that is definitely something you should check out. But unfortunately, I cannot tell you anything about it. So for now, I would absolutely recommend the It Cosmetics palette because it's ultra affordable and I just find that the way it performs and looks on my skin is amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!